Concrete Society's 2013 Concrete Boat Race Day was met with soaring heat and zero wind at the Germiston Lake in Johannesburg. And this year there were four judges adjudicating the high number of entries and the projects required the university students to design and construct cement-based crafts of the paddle ski kind. But I think there's some really fantastic ideas and innovation here and it's, I think it's really tested the students to their limits. We've got the fins. No one else in this whole place has got fins. Those fins, they sit at right angles. So we don't go left, we don't go right. We streamline it straight forward. It just helps the stability of the boat. I got a block of polystyrene and formed it to shape and I covered it with concrete. Most of it is just cement with a, with a dash of um, sand, river sand, very fine river sand. If you look at the shape, it's quite light and, and, and it, 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 it actually penetrates through the water quite easy. We are a group of five electrical students and what we did is we went out and researched on the internet because we do not know anything about concrete and boat building. So we googled a lot of stuff and then some of our members have experience with designing so that's how we got the design for the boat. The boat named LFGS from the University of Johannesburg won in the construction category. Uh, we met up one night after work and decided we we're going to use a Y8 reinforcing bar to actually do the main frame. So with that we just went around site because we work in construction, collected a few pieces and we started putting it together, just seeing the dimensions we want and we started from that. We started with the main frame. The main frame is actually these Y8 bars you can see in here. That was the first night of work. Uh, we actually finished three in the morning. Quite a rough day. And once the judging was over, the racing was on. Races took the form of relays, where a four-person team paddled a leg each around the course in the lake. We've been running this event now for more than 20 years and I think this is probably one of the biggest that we've ever had. Uh, we've got 70 uh, craft, I can't call some of them boats, but floating craft on the water just from the universities. There's also another 20 odd from the industry and 10 from the ladies. But uh, some of the boats, they really look like bathtubs. You think if they're going to put them in the water, they're just going to sink and, and disappear, like the Titanic, like we had today. Uh, other boats are just magnificent. You, they, they go out there and they fare like a normal boat. So uh, it's quite interesting to see the variety that you get. And then also the design. Some of them are really basic and it's just uh, a bit of concrete, where others are really a work of art. Students are very excited, but we as the Concrete Society Committee really enjoy the day. We enjoy the vibe and it's it's showcasing concrete in its in its best way possible on water. Every year the students get more and more innovative with their designs, with their concrete mixes. So I think the difference comes in, in where the students just use the technology better and better every year. After all the heats and the finals had been held, the winners in each category were as follows. Semtech from the University of Johannesburg came in first place for the student category, closely followed by Zeus Engineering and Team Jarvis, also from the university. Ash Resources clinched first and second spots for the industry race, and for the ladies category, it was Team Raccoon from Rockler taking top honours. Although lightweight in name, Boat Titanium managed to sink in just 20 seconds and took the unenviable prize for quickest sinker. You know what, I think it is just once again that the, even the support from industry, that is what I find. The support from industry just keeps on growing and growing and, and people understand 
that when you work with concrete, it is really a very forgiving material. As long as you use the basis, you can really become very creative with concrete. And that, I think, is what we like about this event. Um, a fun event, an event that's growing inside, an event that really showcases concrete.